so I'm on the way to our community day. So once a week we now have a community day um, that's not in practice. So it's my first day there and I'm looking forward to it. So I'll catch up with you guys later. Bye! So I'm at the health centre. What they've done, basically one day a week we're going to be based in a community practice. So this is basically a health centre and um, I'm just going to be shadowing another dentist here and hopefully get to do some more dentistry here. So I guess it's good to be in like a different environment but yeah it's nice to be in, in a community placement and it's quite strange because I'm literally I went to sixth form, the upper grandma which is literally right behind me so it's crazy being right next to my sixth form um, so I feel like it's kind of like a full circle, it's so weird uh, but yeah I'm going to head off and start my community placement. Before I got started, I had to do yet another fit test. If you've seen my previous vlog, then you know what this is all about. I'm a little bit spider, and then let me know how many you can place it on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're very sensitive. So after the sensitivity test had been completed, I was then given my mask and hood and then the pumps of the awful substance <laughs> was administered again. Trust me guys, it had a really strong taste. Um, so yeah, the whole point was to make sure that I couldn't taste it through my mask and that I had a good seal. Alright guys, so I've just done my fit test and I've passed. So after a really fun day at Community, I decided to go back and visit my old sixth form this was where I completed the International Baccalaureate um, and I applied for dentistry here. Um, I can honestly say it was the hardest two years of my life. I remember a lot of tears were shed in this facility when I found out that I didn't get into dental school and then I decided to apply again. This was our little playground and our exam hall. So honestly I felt so nostalgic just walking into the building and just all these memories started flooding back but you know what I'm so glad that I was able to decide to apply again to dentistry and who would have thought that I would come here six years later as a qualified dentist. So I guess this just goes to show that never give up on your dreams and honestly anything is possible. So I've just got out of East Grinstead station, it's around 8.20am and I am walking to the hospital so I should be there quite early actually which is always good. I just try to make sure that I leave a lot of time because this place is so far to get to um, but yeah we're, we're good, we're good. Um, yeah on the train I realised that I completely forgot to fill you guys in on how my community day went um and how my day in practice was yesterday everything's just been getting so busy so it's been quite difficult to keep up with vlogging um but whenever i can whenever i get a spare moment i will always try my best to keep you guys in the loop so community day so that was really interesting actually um basically community dental practices they are able to see patients that might need longer appointments so perhaps they might have like learning difficulties or special needs or complex medical history, things like that. Basically, the dentist is able to spend longer with them and just have that thorough appointment. Whereas obviously in an NHS setting, things can be quite fast paced. So yeah, it was quite nice to see how things 
worked in the community dental practice. And then my day in practice after that, it was quite a good day. I am enjoying my days in practice more and more. And it's really nice to get stuck in and actually doing some dentistry. Um, I feel like I'm getting into the groove of things. And yeah, overall, I'm, I've been really enjoying it. So today in our study day, um, if you saw my last vlog, um, I think it was the either the first or second one, probably the second one. We because the first one we done amalgam. The second one we right, okay. Second one we right, okay. <laughs> Guys, don't vlog. Don't vlog whilst you're walking because that's what happens. <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, as I was saying guys, um, in my second vlog, if you've seen that, if you haven't, go check it out. You'd see that we um, had already done composites as part of a study day. But um, I think today we're going to be doing anterior composites or they're just going to be teaching us um, a different technique. So quite interested to see what the day has in store. And yeah, as always, I will keep you guys updated. But for now, let me carry on walking. Um, and just enjoy enjoy my walk because my hand is actually starting to hurt <laughs> so I'm gonna put the camera down and make my way there all right guys bye so I arrived at East Grinstead Hospital luckily I didn't get hit by any more trees <laughs> thankfully um, once I got there I changed into my scrubs and then we were split into two different groups so half of us were doing the composites whilst the other half were doing case presentations. And after that, um, we started learning about the composites by Dr. Mo, who broke it down into the clinical stages. So this is how the tooth would look like beforehand. So you can see it's quite a big fracture. And this is where we're hoping to get to afterwards. So before we start, it's really important that we put on the rubber dam so this is essentially a rubber sheet that goes over the patient's mouth. Um, it's really important that we use it when placing composites because essentially composite is made up of resin and resin doesn't work well in moisture rich environments. So composites are hydrophobic, so they require a dry field to be successful and prevent any sort of bond failure. Um, so yeah, rubber dam can be a bit tricky, very fiddly. Um, it can be a little bit uncomfortable for the patient to start with, but once it's in, it's in. And actually the patients, some patients quite enjoy having it because you don't get all the water going in your mouth and everything. Um, so yeah, you can see here, having a good old time putting on the rubber dam. Um, it's important to get each bit, bit of rubber in between each tooth. Um, and get some nice inversion going on. Um, so you can see there, I am getting that all done. So I'm just making a few final little adjustments, trying to get it as inverted as I can. And then we're ready to get started. So firstly, we had to create a fracture in the tooth, because obviously it's um, our lovely patient, Bob, hasn't got one. Um, so yeah, just trying to make it as realistic as possible. So you can see here, just creating a small little meso incisal fracture on the lateral incisor, and then just creating a little bevel. So this bevel allows it to be a smooth join between the composite and the tooth and hides the margin. So the next step after that is to create a palatal shell. So this is a mylar strip. So it's a clear strip that is placed in between the teeth and that allows us to place a composite, a thin layer of composite on the back aspect, which is the palatal aspect of the tooth. So you can see here that I've got that thin shell and that just creates a nice outline and that makes everything so much easier once you've got that palatal shell. So once that's done, you just add the rest of the composite and it just becomes a case of filling it all in. Um, the palatal shell is the hardest part. And then you just fill it all in, smooth it out so you can see here, I'm using this little silicone instrument just to ensure that it's all nice and smooth. There's so many different instruments you can use for composite, whichever one works best for you. Once that's all done, you light cure it. So this allows the composite to go hard. And then after, it's time for contouring and finishing. Um, so yeah, I find this so therapeutic. 
literally just trying to get it as even as possible um, just polishing it as much as you can so this is the polishing discs so they have different levels of coarseness you start with the most coarse and then you work your way down so you can see here just giving it a nice polish until it's nice and smooth so that is my final result um, yeah I was pretty happy with it I think Bob was happy with it as well so this is how it was before and now this is the after hi guys so I'm here with Kerfan I'm hi. here with Abby and we've just had our morning session so me and Abby we've done anterior composites how do you think it went Abby yeah it was really good it was really informative and um, Kerfan what did you do uh, we went through paces we okay. Did, uh, uh, and uni at, uh, at practice. It was oh, yeah, really yeah. good to see what other people are doing as well. Yeah, so basically, I think basically people brought in their own cases. That's what we're going to have in the afternoon, and we just get to talk through them. So now we're just about to have our lunch. Abby drove us to McDonald's, actually. <laughs> we're the three that decided to go to McDonald's. Everyone else went to the canteen. Um, but yeah, we're going to have our lunch and then um, get on with the afternoon. So after lunch, it was time for us to head back and get on with our case presentations. I'm actually quite lucky that our scheme we all get on quite well with each other so that makes it a lot more fun um, and after that was done it was time for us to head back home. Alright guys how do you think today went? Good? Bad? <laughs> mediocre? Tired. Tired? How are you feeling James? Uh, the composite was fun. Yeah the composite was fun. Yes, the case presentation. <laughs> Yeah, Jordan, what did you think? My crown shape is wrong. Yeah, <laughs> basically we had, we had to go through all our case presentations and I think we just basically got ripped from <laughs> some of them. <laughs> but it was, it was good showing each other our cases and like we learned from each other's cases. What about you, Abby? Yeah, it was good. I think James has a lovely speaking voice. I think Agreed. I think we should give more presentations about everything. Yes. James's presentation was really good. We didn't present any cases. <laughs> <laughs> it was good though, it was really good. Um, I think the morning was better than the afternoon. Yeah, I think it's better to, when we're doing more practical things. I think we learned a lot from that. Um, but to be fair, it's always better when you're doing something hands-on overall. But yeah, guys, <laughs> till the next study day. Bye! Bye! <laughs> hey guys, so it is finally the weekend. We had our study day yesterday, as you know. Um, I thought it was really useful to do some anterior composites because they're not easy to do at all. And it does have like quite a few stages. Obviously it's the front teeth, so you have to make sure that you have really good technique. Um, and in the afternoon, we're able to sort of go through treatment planning and learn from each other's cases. Um, as you've probably noticed by now, I've changed my hair again. You're gonna probably realize from these vlogs, I do like to change my hairstyle quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm glad that it's finally the weekend. Um, I find that over the week you can get really, really bogged down with loads of admin and things to catch up on. Um, so I'm gonna spend my I'm gonna spend my day just doing my e-portfolio, um, and I'm also going to be doing a YouTube live, which is exciting um, because I put this post on Twitter because they were having this sort of challenge about when it started and how it's going and yeah I thought I'll just do it as well and yeah it kind of blew up which was um I wasn't expecting but I was really happy um that I guess my story was able to inspire others so I would have probably done the YouTube live by now um you guys are probably watching this in future which is a bit weird but I am nervous to do the live hopefully it all goes well um, and I get to answer your questions. Uh, so yeah, um, just after that, I'm probably just gonna chillax, relax, enjoy my weekend, um, which is very important. It's very important to have a good work-life balance. Um, and then yeah, back for the rest of the week. So yeah, guys, um, thank you for watching this vlog, I guess. We're probably at the end of the vlog and um, I will see you next time. Bye.